Good afternoon, everyone. This is Joe Hinches with uh, Beyond the Chart, and this is a weekend update. Today is Sunday, uh, October 20th. Uh, we'll take a look at the indices and um, uh, gold, oil, and I'm also going to take a look at the uh, India Nifty 50 uh, index, which is very popular in India and uh, first time I've, I've taken a look at that, I believe. Um, so let's, uh, let's get started. Let's take a look at the Dow. Uh, Dow was up 28 points on Friday. Uh, it is clearly the laggard, as we've been talking about for weeks now. Um, our best estimate, uh, we thought that, or I thought that uh, the uh, pullback reaction here in August was going to be the you know the bottom and that we we're taking off for a fifth, you know a fifth wave up uh, you know now you know I think we've done this ABC correction and that we're starting the uh, the fifth wave up now so we'll just have to see if we continue to get this impulsive type of action and I, by impulsive I mean strong upward swifting you know moves in the market. Um, these numbers here, the 0%, 23%, this is a Fibonacci projection that I've made. I don't want to get, go into it now. I think I showed this on a chart back on a post I had in September called, you know, the bull, this bull is still running. Um, and I, I still believe, uh, I had used a projection off the bottom here. I think it's going to be off of here. Not much of a difference, actually. Um, but I still believe we got... Pretty good little leg up here before we then go into a, a, a much stronger correction. Uh, so that's the Dow. We'll take a look at, I want to take a look at the Dow transportation average real quick. You can see how the transports really, you know, they're pushing higher. So the transports and the Dow index, you know, the typical Dow theory, you know, are the transports confirming the Dow index? Are they both matching each other? So really, the transports are pushing higher, which to me is a good indication that the Dow should catch up soon. Um, and we take a look at the S&P 500. Again, it's been pushing higher, stronger, you know, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Now we're at an extension. We're outside the Keltner channels here. Um, and, you know, and these Keltner channels contain a good percentage of the trading in between the bands, okay? They're similar to Bollinger Bands, but they don't get as wild and uh, as pulled pulled in odd directions. So they, they, I, I like them better. I like, uh, I can use them better than I can the Bollinger Bands. So we're adding a little bit of an extreme here. It doesn't mean we can't ride the outside of the band, uh, but we could easily get, you know, just like over here, uh, we could get a contraction pull back, uh, but you know the good news is you know we're we're tracking well in terms of the way we're we're moving. We got the ten above the twenty. Moving averages are aligned. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the Nasdaq. The Nasdaq is strong, and actually, uh, I'll show you some of the indicators here. The Nasdaq's pushed to you know again a new high. Look how strong this move is. Um, I mean, boy, it's just really blasted right back off now. You know, we thought this was going to be a bearish formation, but it didn't confirm it. It basically reversed itself. So right now, all indications are that it's full speed ahead. Uh, you look at the blue uh, is above the red here in terms of the blues, the buying power on the uh, directional movement. And uh, it seems to be confirming. Uh, it's gone to a new uh, higher high. Uh, the On the RSI, I had a little trend line here. And it's broken through this trend line, so that tells me that we're pushing, we're continue to push in a positive manner. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out is the NASDAQ does have uh, some resistance. Where is it? It's in here. There's some lines in here that I think we got some potential resistance, but it's several, you know, several points above. We're talking about 4284, 4265, somewhere in that range. And we're at 39. You know, 14 right now. So, a um, couple hundred points above. And where's that resistance coming from? It's back from in the year 2000, literally. I mean, let me let me look at this. It's back at these peaks here in the year in the year 2000. So that's where I've driven. I said, okay, look, that selling came in at those peaks when they rallied on the way on the way down. So potentially. There's a possibility that you know some selling resistance could come in at that level, so we'll just have to see. Um, next one we want to look at real quick is the uh, New York Composite. 
again, I, I think that this ascending triangle may be back in play. Um, you know, it tried to break down through here. It didn't. It's come back up. It's come to a new high. If this thing really projects out the way I'm thinking it might, we're looking at a move right up into this uh, area in terms of the, uh, the New York composite. Uh, Russell 2000 is also very strong. Um, take a look at that. I mean, it's, wow. Well, I mean, it just keeps pushing and pushing. And when you look at the, I think I showed this before, look at this over the last, you know, since 1997. Uh, you know, so this clearly up and out new, new high territory, just blue sky in it. Um, let's take a look at gold real quick. Gold, this is really acting spastic to me. I mean, you look at these gaps. I mean, it's just gapped all over the place. I would not want to be trading this, uh, this ETF. Now, if you're sitting with it for months on end and maybe you're trading on a, on a weekly basis, you look at a weekly chart, you know, that's a little bit different. You see a little bit more continuity, something to look at. But from a daily basis, man, this is, if I see this in a stock, I just, I just eliminate it. I, I don't even want to trade it. So right now, um, you know, we've got this pullback. And, you know, the 50 still below the 200. Still got the 20 below the 50. It's it just still in a little bit of a downtrend. And you can, it's hard to tell. Is it going to continue pulling back? Um, so right now, there's nothing super positive about it. But it hasn't gone to a new low yet. Okay, so that's, that's the key to watch here. Now, oil. Um, oil's broken this trend line like we showed before. Now, the good news is we get the 50 above the 200. So this is still, this is kind of in rally mode. Now, you got this potential resistance here, or support, I mean, that should come in where resistance was before. You became, you know, what was resistance now becomes support. So as this pulls back, it could get some buying coming in here, and then you get the 200-day moving average that should start to flush right in here too. So there's a good possibility that you get push one, correction two, push three, correction four, come back down into here, and then push back up for a fifth wave. So that's a real possibility. Okay, uh, the Nifty 50, India's uh, benchmark uh, index. This thing has really been uh, volatile over the last, this year. I mean, look at the spikes up, down, down. Uh, really hasn't made a whole lot of progress for the year. If you look at from January to where we are right now, um, but when you look at the longer term picture, let's look at a weekly basis. Uh, take a look here. I mean, look at this. I mean, it came up and uh, here's the year 2000 when the NASDAQ peaked, the Dow peaked. And, and look at, you know, India's index. What a rally mode here into two, 2007. Then we had the correction. But, you know, in our markets, we corrected all the way back to the 2002, 2003 level. India did not. And now it's come back in. I mean, you can almost make the case this is kind of a cup and a handle kind of a move. If the India can break through these, this resistance point up top here, uh, this indice could be off launching on a whole new leg uh, of a move. So it could be kind of fascinating to watch here as we, uh, over the next few weeks, next few months, uh, coming year. Okay, uh, that's about it for my update on the indices. I'll be talking about stocks on a separate post in terms of what I'm looking at, some things I'm holding, some ideas for this coming week. I'll have a separate post later today. And I just want to make a plug. If you guys are getting to this video uh, from, the, from YouTube or the website, you know, I just, you know, come and visit the website. <laughs> Check it out. I mean, we've got, I've got a library page, some great books. I've got an option page that's in development. I'll be putting that out hopefully this week. And they could have several versions of that as I develop it. And, you know, check out the ebook, uh, The Seven Options, Seven Deadly Sins in, in Option Trading. I think it applies to both stocks and options. I think it's a great read. Uh, check it out. Uh, sign up with your email. And look forward to seeing you guys uh, in the future. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.